Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to High Off Blue Hour. And in this video, we are going to be bringing still images to life using the Warper tool. And I think you kind of saw a little bit of a preview in the beginning of this video of what that will look like. And we're going to recreate that using one of the same images from that intro, which is uh, this Dracula PNG image. We've got it stretched out to 16 seconds. But again, you can kind of have the runtime be whatever you want it to be. But we're going to highlight our image in the timeline, and then we're going to go into Fusion. And so what we're going to do is we're going to basically make our character look like they're breathing. So we're going to do that by having essentially a, a rising and lowering of the chest and shoulder area, along with some slight movement in some other areas. So here in the Fusion tab, we have our media in connected to our media out with this long uh, yellow arrow. What we want to do is click kind of anywhere in this open space area next to the media in node. And then we're going to hit shift space bar and we get this menu. And I already have Warper selected uh, because I've been messing around with it. But if that's not the case for you, you're probably going to have to start typing in Warper. And as you do that, it will pop up in the menu up here. Then you select it and hit add. And then what you're going to do is hold it and hold shift and hover warper over this yellow line until it turns blue and yellow. And you're going to let go and it'll link in to this line so that it, it is connected in between media in and media out. And make sure your warper is selected and highlighted. And then what we're going to do. I'm going to go up here to fit and go zoom in to about 100% so that we're closer in on our character so that you can just kind of see what you're manipulating a little better. But then we're going to go over here into the inspector tab for Warper. We're going to go down here to on screen controls, click that arrow, and then scale controls. I'm going to push that up all the way to 3.0. And then again the key to getting this breathing effect is the movement of the shoulders and movement of the chest most importantly so we're going to click on the shoulders each shoulder we're going to click and leave a white dot and those white dots indicate areas that you know when the warper tool is activated those areas will have movement to them so put a dot on each shoulder and then we're going to put a white dot on the middle upper chest area and if i grab one of these white dots and start to move them around you can see the manipulation that is happening but it's clear that the whole body is affected by the movement and manipulation of these white dots and we don't really want that we want specific areas to move and we want other areas to stay stationary so to mark the areas that we want to stay stationary we want to hold shift and click and that's how you get like a red dot like that and these red dots indicate areas that are going to be basically stationary uh, once we start our animation. So I'm actually going to go down and kind of strategically place red dots all down the frame of our Dracula character. Because most of his body is not going to be moving. We really just want the shoulders, the chest, and a little bit of the arms and a little bit of the, the outer edges of the cape are going to have movement to them. So I'm going to put some white dots on each elbow. Put a white dot on each hand. And we're going to put a white dot on the outer edge of each side of the cape. And then we're actually going to put a red dot in the forearm area of each uh, the forearm area of each arm. All right, so now, and let's just kind of you can kind of uh, get an idea for the slight manipulation of everything by just grabbing each white dot and just moving it a little bit and then moving it back to where it was just to kind of activate things. And 
and then so our warp scale right here this slider as this moves as we manipulate this as we manipulate our warp scale you can kind of see the movement that happens in the shoulder and chest area so just this slight kind of it looks like he's kind of breathing rather heavily and then so we want to basically to create our breathing effect we basically are going to keyframe the movement of our warp scale slider here there's this movement here that's happening as i move the slider around we're just going to keyframe that in to create a simple breathing effect and so what we want to do is let's hit our keyframe diamond here to activate keyframing and I'm gonna have a breathing a breathing animation or I'm gonna manipulate the warp scale every 24 to say 30 frames uh, within this timeline so let's go in to about close to 30 frames in, really more like this is like 25 frames in or something like that and then we can add some movement go in another and this is going to be very just really rough in terms of how it looks and, and just the timing of everything which is every 25 to every 24 to say 30 frames I'm gonna have the chest either lower or have the chest rise and we're gonna just do this all the way down to the end of this uh, what is it 16 second runtime I guess that this is set at alright so let's go into our back into our timeline and let's just see how all of this looks now, as you can see it looks like he's You've got the rising of the shoulders and the rising of the chest, a little bit of movement in the cape, a little bit of movement in the hands. And I would, and this isn't really quite as, uh, I think I did a better job of this on the, the one that I did for the intro screen, but you get the general idea of what's going on here. Let's actually zoom in a little bit more so that we can kind of see, uh, see our character a little bit better press play again so you see you've got the slight rising and falling of the chest slight the slight uh, rising and falling of the shoulders got a little bit of movement in the, in the cape some of that could be done a lot better but you get the general idea so using the warp so using the warper tool to add movement to a character it can be very subtle some in other cases it can be a lot more um, drastic and extreme but the subtle movement works really well uh, it almost looks kind of like a waiting screen for a video game or something like that or maybe even you know sometimes you watch these um waiting screens for like fighting games and things like that and the character will have like a slight some slight movement to them but nothing drastic that's what this kind of reminds me of uh the shoulders could rise a lot more i could have made the chest rise a lot more noticeably and things like that but i think you get the general idea here of, of how you can basically institute uh movement and animation within a character using the warper tool and i will say i think the the red dots are just as critical and just as important as the white dots because while the white dots determine determine movement and the red dots determine what is staying stationary you need both to create an effective uh an effective animation uh using the warper tool so that is the video you guys uh you can there's a lot of different ways you can you can implement this uh, creative ways you can add movement uh to a character uh this is really actually just the most simple uh way and simple uh simple way to add a breathing effect to a steel stationary character this is just a steel image but the minute the chest and shoulders start to rhythmically rise and fall it just brings everything more so to life so and you know you can use your own creativity to kind of do whatever you want with this tool so that is the warper tool thanks for watching